Hi, Deborah Roth here at Spirited Musings, and this week we're going to play with the energy of the upcoming Gemini New Moon happening depending on where you are in the world. Uh, here I am in New York City, and so the New Moon is live and dark and deep and wonderful <laughs> this Saturday, uh, June 8th. So to prepare for that, uh, I wanted to give you some ideas for just maybe a, a little ritual that you could do around it. I'll be doing my New Moon Sister Circle here in New York on Sunday night, and you're certainly welcome to, to join us. We'll be um, focusing on similar themes. You can check that out at my website, spiritedliving.com. But if you're not able to make it, I wanted to kind of go over, which I haven't in a while, the very simple components of creating sacred space, creating a very simple, beautiful, transformative ritual so that you can really tap into the powerful Gemini energy that's, that's, uh, that we're in now, but we really hit it with the new moon when both the sun and the moon are in the sign of, of Gemini. All new moons, that's what happens. Both the sun and the moon are in the same sign. Now, Gemini, as, as many of you know, I'm sure, is an air sign. I have my feather earrings on to represent air, and I'll share with you all kinds of other fun symbolic things that you can use to evoke airy energy and then, of course, specifically Gemini energy. Gemini is ruled by the planet Mercury, and that the energy of both Mercury and, and Gemini is all about how we think, how we use our minds, and then how we communicate what we perceive in the world around us through uh, speaking, writing, all kinds of creative ways that we use our brains, which I always think is a kind of a loaded thing for women because uh, often there's all kinds of not very complimentary things attached to very bright, brilliant women. So we're here to celebrate our brilliance. So to create a very simple uh, celebration of our Gemini brilliance and our creativity, this is the, the time of month when, or the time of year, um, actually on June 14th, coming up after, the week after, but still very much uh, in the energy of the new moon. Uh, it's the birthday of the muses, the nine Greek muses, which were all about inspiration. We'll also be honoring Sarasvati, who is the Hindu goddess of learning and communication. Um, she was the one who, uh, legend says, created the uh, Sanskrit alphabet. This is my little image of Sarasvati. And she's holding a book. She's uh, holding her veena, which is the instrument that she plays. And Sarasvati also has to do with music and creativity. She's a great one to have on your computer because she is so much about communication. And we certainly communicate a lot in our computers now. So I would suggest, so feathers, um, essential oils that help stimulate the mind are basil or rosemary. Um, you'd want to burn some incense. Uh, that will that Incense has that airy quality to it as well. Colors could be yellow, which is the color for air, or blue, which is the color of the throat chakra, which is how we communicate uh, verbally, of course. And then what I often do in circles where we're this time of year where we're celebrating our creativity is to write some poetry. And you can use a structure, which is a great way to use our, our mental, wonderful, brilliant women's uh, mental faculties, and write just a simple haiku, which we've done, many of us, I'm, as I'm sure, have done from grade school, where it's a three-line poem. The first line is uh, five syllables, second line is seven syllables, last line is back to five syllables. I have, uh, I've, I've created a list of about nine different poetry forms that I'm happy to share with you if you email me. And some, one of them, just to give you an example, and I, I want to remember that I get it right, um, one's called Quinzane, also three lines, like haiku is. The first line is seven syllables, the second line is the beginning of a question with five syllables. And then the end of the question is the third line, and that's three syllables. So that's quinzane, and you can uh, repeat back to hear what that one's about. So create some sacred space for yourself. Activate your senses, as we know, is a huge component of, of ritual. Your intention, of course, is to activate your creativity and your wonderful, uh, brilliant mind, and then use meaningful symbols. Um, bring in 
have a picture of Sarasvati there, or I have a big chunk of tiger's eye, which is the stone that has to do with creating clarity. So create your sacred space and climb into the wonderful world of Gemini and see what beautiful verbal or written wisdom comes out of that. I'd love to hear what you come up with. Have fun on this Gemini new moon.